day is Zana. I was just sitting at my altar literally in my dressing gown like it's the morning I've just been journaling and doing my energy work and stuff and then I felt called to get on camera and talk about this everything that I've been journaling today is about receiving but also about the fact that the whole life that we're in is literally a mind game and that mind like the mental state that it puts you in then affects your emotions which then affects the action that you take and like your behavior and subconscious behaviors and i'm just realizing how much it is a mind game and a journey of like reparenting yourself and having to nurture yourself through the thought that all the thoughts that come up and through the emotions that come up into your body which then affects your energy field and affects your aura and affects the things that you magnetize towards you and sometimes like for me and my belief system I know that it definitely can feel like things are separate and outside of myself like the money that I want or the goal that I want to achieve or like the community and connection and the types of relationships that I want it can sometimes feel like that's a separate thing like it's an external separate outside of myself thing that I'm trying to reach and trying to chase and then trying to call in and like it's not me like it's something else outside of me that I need to have and that I don't have and that it feels separate and it feels like it's not mine and I'm starting to understand like no these things are actually you and you generate them from your inner power like your inner power is what magnetizes things to you but you're not magnetizing something that's not already a part of you if that makes sense and like this is something I'm still learning to process and try and understand for myself so it's not yet fully known <laughs> it's not like a belief that i really hold yet it's something that i'm really starting to try and understand is like everything external is a part of us because we're all a part of source but our ultimate power is our inner power and that inner power is literally just being who you are it's literally being authentic and shining bright and not dimming yourself like not watering yourself down not having to hide parts of yourself or try and seek approval it's literally just being your authentic self and doing the things that bring you joy like following your joy you know letting that guide you and that that is enough like doing that and being that is enough it's more than enough in fact to create the life that you want and like draw those things to you and I've been doing this and really like getting so into my spiritual practices and energy work to kind of ground myself and stuff and like feel into my power because we're oftentimes so busy and running around doing all of these different survival things and working and stuff that like you don't have time to actually sit with yourself and feel your own energy and feel what that feels like you know most people don't know themselves or don't know what that feels like and I'm starting to get in the habit of doing that and actually feeling it and what that feels like and feeling my connection to source and connection to everything that exists you know and connection to the earth and stuff and through that I'm starting to feel my power but then it can still feel like that's not enough or like what you want is so separate and so far away that it's just not enough <laughs> and not gonna reach you and then I'm slowly starting to understand like oh it actually takes a bit of time for the external world to catch up because that's the last plane of existence to manifest you know like it starts in the mind and the emotional body first so just being who you are even though it might not be an instant switch externally but having that internal switch where you start to shift things and you start to believe in yourself and you start to trust yourself and you start to own who you are and you start to walk in your truth and you start to follow your joy and do all of the things that you love and that you really want to do and the things that inspire you it might feel like that's not enough or like it's taking too long but actually the external is shifting with you even if you can't see it yet just know that like you have to keep going and keep on going and keep on going because it's when we stop and we give up that 
we resort back to the old lifestyle and the old habits and stuff so like just knowing your power knowing who you are is enough and knowing that like everything you want is not an external thing it's an internal experience that you're having like you're literally here to have your own experience and to feel your own emotions and to be human but to also be a soul in a human body and to remember that you are so much more powerful than the human condition and the human emotions and the survival mode that a lot of people find themselves in and stuff like you are so much more powerful than that and yeah we don't have to get lost in it even though it can happen and that's okay if it happens you know but then just being aware of the fact that it's happened pulls you out of it anyway so yeah it's just something that I'm thinking for myself it's like oh we're way much more powerful than we think and we don't have to chase things and like it can sometimes put you in a state of powerlessness when you feel like everything is separate from you and it's something that is out of reach but something that you really want and like you're trying to like put your hand out for it and it's just not coming and it's like no you're not asking for an external source to give you something you know like the money or the relationship or the job or whatever it is it's not an external thing that you're asking some kind of external force to give you it's you owning who you are and saying that's the thing that I want that's what I'm calling in just by being me do you know what I mean and putting that intention out there it's you and your vibration and your power like being you that calls those things in it's not something that an external force has to give you it's something that you magnetize towards you by being yourself you know like you take your power back instead of being in a state of despair which is what I definitely find myself in sometimes when it feels like it's not happening and like it's just so far away and stuff it can go into massive powerlessness and despair and it's just so uncomfortable i was sitting here trying to regulate my emotions because i was really feeling that and not wanting to film today when normally i would have a video go up today and stuff so just having to like nurture ourselves and not force ourselves to take action that we don't feel called towards just nurture yourself and allow yourself to be where you're at you know and then really doing the energy work like the practices of tuning into your power tuning into your energy knowing what sensations are coming up in your in your body and what emotions are there and what is ready for release and what still needs your love and attention and comfort and yeah we're just taking it one day at a time but i just thought i would share this little message with you and i hope that you are doing well and having the best week and definitely join our telegram community group chat if you want to carry on these conversations and stuff we delve into all things shadow work so yeah i can speak to you over there or my phone number as well you can whatsapp me if you want to do that instead or as well whatever you prefer but yeah everything about me is in the description box below and i will see you in the next video